Hi guys, Roger here. So for this video is about R2 Meta Yuntron's um, video showcase. So this is not my this is not my account. This account is provided by King King and Zimonias. He already R2 his Meta Yangtian, so we can uh, and he borrowed me his account, so we can actually um, see some showcase. So I actually myself I actually use uh, my R0 Meta Yuntron because I bought a pass and I also bought some few packs so I get R0 so I, I wanted to make an R0 showcase but the R0 wise the passive isn't that um, obvious so I can't really give you a very good showcase to really show his um, power so I think R2 is where you can start seeing his uh, how obvious uh, his passive strong is right so R2 one here he already made it and let me show you some video clips recording so uh, we have been testing around with um, different targets and then sometimes we win sometimes we, uh, we lose right so I think this is one of the best um, showcase that we can share which is fighting uh, R4 Moriyama with Petros um, Lu Shang and also R6 Sujie here. So let's take a look here. Um, his Meta Yang Tian is uh, R2 and then he is using it at Wu Yu Team. So uh, basically, what he's trying to do for with his team here is trying to use Meta Yang Tian to protect um, Wu Yu from getting one shot by Moriyama. Then Wu Yu can break dance and kill um, the enemy because this enemy here, they are the his team that is using is without Zhe. If the target have Zhe, then you have to tune with a different team, which is not going to use Wu Yu in the team. Okay, but this one here they didn't use Zhe. So basically, uh, your Wu, if your Wu Yu survive from Moriyama's damage, then Wu Yu can actually break dance and kill everyone here. So let's take a look how the battle goes. Let me give you some audio. Right, Moriyama S3, and you can see the S3 here only deals. Um, if not even like 50% of Lian's max HP because 80% of the damage um, which is actually 72% of the damage is reduced because of R2 um, Yunchuan's immovable object effect. Originally it's only um, up maximum up to 40% but R2 will give you double the effect which makes you um, reduce up to 80%. So he's kind of like R2 mandatory if you really want to see how obvious he is um the fact is and you can see all their damage enemy dealing to you is actually very very low like 400 something 3000 something it's very low but you can see meta yang Tian's, um stack is getting lower and lower uh, which means the longer the better the more active turn the enemy takes the weaker he is because his s1 and s3 isn't too impressive okay so he um so if you really want to make uh play a meta yang Tian team it's either your team um, is like something like this. If a, for a Wu Yu team here is basically trying to prevent uh, enemy Moriyama to one shot um, Wu Yu, then if you don't want to play uh, with a Wu Yu team, you can play something like control team to not make enemy take their turn. Cause if enemy don't take their turn, then they are not able to reduce his stack. Cause if you look at his um, passive here, right, you only remove the stack by one and only an act, uh, enemy active turn end. Which means if enemy doesn't ever take their active turn, you will always have immovable stack, um, 10 stack and it's always maintain 80% damage reduce. That's a different team concept, right? So let me try to make another uh, showcase with a different team other than Wii U1 to show you his performance. All right, so this is one of the team that I'm trying to test if we just, this works. So basically the team concept is um, you're trying to use a meta Yang Tian here to prevent um, enemy Moriyama to one-shotting your team because obviously enemy Tolan will outspeed your team, right? And then Chu Yao here to protect, uh, give Momo here more protection. Momo is the main DPS. So her here is just um, protecting um, Petros and Suja's counter attack, something like that. And Sakura will provide the healing. So let's take a look at quick battle if we won this fight. Right, we got a victory and then yeah, Momo will be the main DPS. Yunchuan here, you can see the DPS is very, very low, but his main job here is just to provide your team getting wiped out um, by um, Cliff Team Esper, especially Moriyama at the start of the combat. So like you have nine stacks now, so they can only deal 72%. Slash. The damage hit 5 hit and Chuya still survive with a with a small little HP bar here. So imagine if your Chuya actually make it more um tankier, your um then Moriyama damage can't even kill you. Like this Moriyama is a high res Moriyama and it's an R2 one that actually already have an attack up buff here. So imagine at your tier, 
if you don't if cause the video recording here is like point war 24 or something like that right imagine if the point war level like maybe yours is like 16 or maybe like 18 somewhere there and enemy try to use their moriyama that is like r0 or r1 trying to cleave your team it, it might actually fail because even this high reso one is able to let your team um survive from moriyama's damage Okay, then Momo hears his, uh, her job is done. Uh, I mean, Chu Yao's job here is done. And then Momo will have Spirit Aegis and slowly slash them one by one. And it's just a matter of time. Or if you don't want to build something like this, uh, I, maybe I can show you another one. It might, uh, let's say if you don't want to play uh, Momo, right? Or maybe we can try something like this. So enemy doesn't have a speed leader. They have Moriyama R4, which is what they're trying to cleave you. And then maybe you can try something like Meta Liling here and Meta Yun Chuan. So uh, Meta Liling, his, his one is using an R6 one. And then Meta Yun Chuan here is to provide protection. And then because you're a speed leader, you have the action first. So enemy doesn't instantly reduce your stack. So let's take a look if we quick battle. Alright, we got a victory and let's take a look. Alright, so as usual, this is uh, Meta Liling here is your main DPS. Yun Chuan here is your protection. And let's take a look what happened to the battle. Okay, so you take the action first, right? Oh, enemy Lushan is faster. Okay. Moriyama take his action. S3 doesn't kill it. And then he, a lot of proccing heal. Dispel. Meta Liling take action. Then, and you, and you have to know that Meta Liling is an Esper that the longer the battle, the stronger he is. And Meta Yun Chuan is the longer the battle, the weaker he is. But uh, he have 10 stat, which means he kind of give your team have a 10 turn of a certain portion of the, um, protection. And that type is actually buying time for your Meta Liling to build up his damage. Like if you watch my previous video when Meta Liling is released, Meta Liling's biggest weakness is he needs time. But um, with Zhe release and then with Meta Yun Chuan release, it actually really helped um, to reduce um, the the difficulty of making Meta Yun, uh, Meta Liling work in the battle. So there's a lot of team come to actually play with Meta Yun Chuan. He, he, he is not like a Wuyu enabler Esper. Wuyu enabler Esper is Sakura. So he's a very um, good Esper to fit in any comp as long as you are trying to prevent you yourself getting one shotted as so his main counter or the most um, effective esper to show his power is actually some esper like Mor uh, moriyama right so let's say if i quick battle again i should be able to win as well yeah right so basically he's just gonna tank all the damage for you to reduce enemy moriyama damage right so basically that's it for this um Moriyama's, uh, I mean not Moriyama, uh, R2 Yun Chuan showcase is pretty much that's all because he, his main job here is just to reduce the damage and, but keep note, um, his passive stack is not able to reduce the stack for true damage so enemy Momo, enemy Jin Chu, their damage is still going to do uh, a very high damage and another trick you can actually do is you make your meta Yun Chuan the fastest in your team and let enemy Tolan ban your Meta Yin Chuan. Let me show you an example. Right, so for example, if I make um, Meta, Meta Yin Chuan the fastest in the team, Tolan obviously, the AI is going to target on Meta Yang Tian, right? He's going to ban him out. And But you have to know that after he get banned out, his effect is still remain active and then his passive will not get reduced. Right, so he banned him up now and you can see he's remaining 10 stack. Whenever enemy take their action, it's still 10 stack. And maybe wonder like, does the effect wear off? Like, does the effect like get banned out? Is the effect already get disabled? No. You can actually still active the effect when Tolan ban you out. Uh, I did ask the support like, uh, is this intended or is this a bug? So it's actually intended from the support reply. Right, so let, let's take a look. We have always 10 stack here and then let's say enemies take their turn. Look at the, uh, the damage. 200 something, 200 something, like this one, 1000 something. It's like the 10 stack effect will always remain for your team, which means enemy can only deal 80% of the damage, uh, 20% of their damage, as um, as long as Meta Yang Chen is still in time zero mode. Right, then now you can see yeah, he's starting reducing his stack. Right, something like that. So it's still, it's going to be a fun comp to actually um, try around. 
because you if your enemy is using like a Tolan plus Moriyama team, you can make your meta um, Yunchuan the highest speed, and if you tank the Tolan S3 effect, then he will go into the tank stack mode, and your team will always get protected for a very very long time. So you can try to tune around with meta uh, Yunchuan, but I think he's an R2 mandatory as per because um, the R0, the 40%, can't really shine too much or to tell how strong is the power is because at least at my tier uh, 22 to 24 it's very hard to let a r0 meta in chuan shine but maybe if you're at lower tier and if you're using r0 meta in chuan now feel free to leave a comment down and share your thoughts how is she how is he performing in at your tier at r0 all right i hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next video bye bye Special thanks for the direct support on the YouTube membership. So for the benefactor of our tier, which is JNMP, Yaki Shiba Tales, Kami, thank you so much for your support. And for the supporter or patron of our tier, which is Louis Sinead,er Agni, Code Wilderness, Wild Tamer, Ziggy, Kamaruki, Sunworks, Rimu, Chani, Antonio Winderspoon, Marlene Williams, Uncle Chad, Eric Mendis, Ian Craigren, Riku Fred X Iris, Calamity, Rocco Stenzions, thank you so much for your support. Special thanks for the direct support on the live stream super chat for the latest tag. Thank you so much for Code Wilderness, Calamity, Agni, Love Fatima, Fatima Little Underwear, Bloods, Riku Fred, Chani. Thank you so much for your support.